Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hey, hi guys. We're trying this in a new way today. Welcome to the Texas Fly Caster, Texas Fly Fishing Report for Friday. Man, I'm running so far behind, I don't even know what the date is. I think it's the 27th or 28th, 27th of April, 2018. I've got something going over here with my camera as usual, recording that to YouTube, and then for you guys tuning in live right now on fake book, I mean Facebook. So anyway, this is another angle on the fly bar here in Denton, Texas. As you guys know, um, that's where I'm based. And this is going to be a short report, hopefully. Hopefully I don't get carried away about something, but um, there's not much to tell from North Texas. Uh, the weather has been very unpredictable for the month of April. It's been the worst April I can remember. And I'm getting tired of it, so come on and bring on May. We've had uh, cold weather in the 40s. We've had rain right in the middle of the week and, and on the weekend, so it's been really tough. Um, as you know, with the Texas Fly Fishing Report, um, we have a scroll at the end on the YouTube video that runs through the TPWD uh, listing for uh, water bodies that they cover in Texas. That can also be found on the Texas Parks and Wildlife uh, website. And all you'd have to do is uh, do your Google search for uh, TPWD Fishing Reports and the most current one will come up. The other ones are always superseded and they're not on there. So give that a try. Now somebody suggested I do this thing on uh, YouTube because they, I guess they wanted to ask questions. We're starting a little earlier. We started about, I don't know, five minutes early, something like that. So we're going to hang here and see if anybody's out there. Let's see what's going on. For those of you who, uh, who are interested in other parts of the state, uh, the weather hasn't reached the very southernmost areas of Texas you know it just sweeps across right now it doesn't quite go all the way down so we uh, we uh, here in North Texas suffer the most really from these weather fronts in uh, late in the late in the winter or <laughs> late in the spring I don't know what this is it's been so bad it's been really hard to figure it out but uh, anyway I hope that, now there's a little bit of delay here on this thing, I don't know why, I've got a super fast internet connection out here, but um, we'll see um, you know, how this works out and everything else. If you are in North Texas, if you'd like to get out of town, you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, there's a couple of events this weekend. One is Arts and Jazz Festival here in downtown Denton, Texas. There's TV commercials for it and everything else. I'd suggest you check it out. A lot of great music. Um, tomorrow night is Los Lobos, which is one of my favorite bands. If you pay attention to the Texas Flycaster website, www.texasflycaster.com, you know that I'm into music and a little bit of uh, imbibation with beer and things like that. But um, I'm doing a lot less of that, a lot more music right now. And so if you can catch Los Lobos, I would highly recommend seeing them free live on a big stage with good sound in Denton, Texas tomorrow night. I put out some information earlier in the week on that and I think I got some things wrong about who's playing but uh, anyway it's uh, it's gonna be a good show. Brave Combo as usual for better or worse. If you've seen them as many times as I have it's uh, getting kinda old. Uh, they close out Sunday night. Tonight um, is jazz night for the main stage and uh, a man named Brecker, but I can't remember, it's not Michael Brecker, so I don't know. Anyway, he's playing tonight on the main stage. Lots of music, lots of art, lots of good food, and lots of fun. So make sure you check that out. I'm wondering if there's even any sound here. Um, John, if you hear me, say so. I see a, a relative of mine, so he showed up. I wonder if he can hear me. Let me ask him. This is probably, uh, this thing on uh, my uh, uh, Facebook channel, or Facebook page, it's called Texas Flycaster. It's the Texas Flycaster page. That's where you'd go. I'm going to leave that on until 
good. He can hear me, so we're all good. How you doing, John? He's down in South Texas, and a relative of mine, John Droy, and I just want to say hi to you. And make sure, John, that you watch the YouTube video instead of this crappy old communist thing. Um, but anyway, um, those are the events happening up here. There's one more out in Aubrey, Texas called Pasture Pickens, and we're involved with that. We had a, a, a pretty tight connection to that. This is probably the last one that will ever happen, though, due to extenuating unfortunate circumstances. So um, be sure that you get out and look up the Pasture Pickens. It's on my Facebook feed, and uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me at 940-380-0408. I will answer the phone, or you know, if you if you identify yourself. Um, if you don't, then leave a message. And also, what we're doing at the end of the YouTube videos now is we're also including some uh, photos sent in from from actual uh, watchers, readers, and and uh, friends. So if you got a fishing photograph you'd like to send in, tell me where it was, when it was, and, and who it is, and I'll be glad to put that. It's coming right at the end of the YouTube video, right where before this scroll for the TPWD fishing report starts. So, and you got to remember that when you're looking at the fishing report, this is a conventional fishing report. You can take your your creative knowledge of fly fishing and obviously convert that over, and make that uh, do what conventional fishermen do. North Texas, as I was saying earlier, is uh, very sketchy weather up here. It's probably 70 degrees right now, absolutely perfect pristine day, and probably the only pristine day this week. So we're getting these windows that are one or two days long, and if it just so happens that you uh, have to do other kinds of work, uh, then those those opportunities go away. Uh, and that really sucks because having two days out of seven, um, really does uh, challenge you uh, until things get better and more consistent here in North Texas. Uh, this is when I wish I was further south because it's so much more consistent down there. I've seen pictures of stripe or hybrids being caught down south and um, salt is always going on so that's what's happening. Let's see who else we've got on here now if anybody. I don't think anybody's on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this thing go ahead and uh, and uh, we'll save this video for 24 hours on Facebook and then we'll delete it. So if any of you guys want to watch this thing on Facebook instead of YouTube for whatever unknown reason, go ahead and do that. I appreciate your watching today. As always, make sure you, if you're interested in, in uh, booking a trip with me or going out for carp on the skiff, contact me there's a multiple number of ways you can contact me about doing that and I'm booking now so I mean we're booking now for May June the hottest times of the year July is uh, still a pretty good month and then we can roll on through August and September lately um, this water the only water I'm on right now that I can talk about with a great deal of authority is um, Lake Ray Roberts and the thing is with this is that there is not another lake in Texas that you can fly fish for so much surface area as, a, as Ray Roberts and I, I put it up against any lake in Texas for walking and wading and fly fishing for bass, gar, carp, you know you name it you can reach it uh, for miles and miles of, of, of shallow water uh, around the edges of Lake Ray Roberts. So feel free to contact me, the website www.texasflycaster.com. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys on YouTube, on YouTube, on Facebook, my, my, fa my all-time favorite. I would like to think it's YouTube live. It's too hard. Um, and we will see you next week probably. Things are heating up a little bit starting today, so maybe by next week we'll have it all together. Thanks for watching. Uh, Hello out there. Have fun at the reunion this weekend down there in uh, Central Texas, uh, Fredericksburg maybe. I can't remember. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. <clears throat> and we'll see you guys next time.